TeachAnOldDogNewTricks.com. More than 40 hours of free computer training. Sit, stay, and learn. Thank you. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. This is Tony Hollowitz, and in this tutorial, I want to talk to you about sending an invoice by email. When you want to send an invoice by email, there's a little setup you need to do in advance. And to do that, we're going to come up and go to Edit. We're going to go down to Preferences. And we're going to come down to where it says Send Forms right down here. I've already selected it. On the My Preferences, we can tell QuickBooks where or what system to use to send email. Is it webmail? And there's all kinds of options for webmail. And again, email is one of those things that that's a tutorial within itself, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this setup except to illustrate where they are so you can come in and do them on your own. Or it also is supported by Outlook. We can also, as in the past, use QuickBooks email. You have to set up a, the service with them. There's no charge to it, but you just have to subscribe and set up an account. The thing I didn't really like about QuickBooks email program is the simple fact that it sort of went through their system. So every time I sent an email, I sort of felt like, did it really go? Where Outlook, I can look in my sent items folder and see whether or not it was actually sent out. It's just I feel I have more control over the situation. So for the past few versions they've offered this as a tool within QuickBooks. So I recommend using Outlook. I'm going to click on the Company Preferences tab and now you'll notice that I can also customize what it says. So you can put information in here so that it goes out and shows you exactly or shows your client, you should, I should say, exactly what it you want want to say to them. So you can come in and customize this a bit. Another thing you can do is you can BCC it. So for example, you can blind carbon copy it to yourself just so you get it, just so you know that it went out and you have a record of it. Or you could blind carbon copy it to, say, the bookkeeping department or you know your sales manager or whoever you felt needed to see this invoice going out. So the first step, as I said, is coming in and setting up the preferences and working through this. And Once you've done that, you're ready to go. And I've already done that, so I'm going to click on OK. And in the next tutorial, we'll actually show you how to send an invoice. My name is Tony Hollowitz, and I want to thank you very much. Have a great day.